Hi everyone, and welcome to our channel. In this really short video, I'd like to touch on a topic that's been around for quite some time. Job setup rotation. That means designing in the horizontal or landscape and cutting it on your machine in the vertical or portrait. There's a couple different ways that this could be approached and that's what this video is going to be about. So let's get started. I opened VCarve Pro and used the normal setup to create my job. It's going to be single sided. I'm going to enter the width and the height. I've chosen some unique numbers just to show you where my problem is with this type of an operation. The Z0 position doesn't matter in this case, nor does the XY datum position. Simply hit OK. The next step is to create some text. I think we already know how to do that, and in this case, I've created my text on its own layer. I simply select the text and go over to the toolpaths. I create a V-carve toolpath using a 60 degree quarter inch diameter bit and hit calculate. Nothing fancy, nothing unique. I preview the selected toolpath and of course I color it just to see what it looks like. Well there it is in the landscape but I want to rotate it now 90 degrees. Here's the first way that it could be done. You can go back into your job setup, invert the numbers, in a sense take the width number, 18, and put it where the height is, and also then take the height number, 5.9, and move it to where the width was. making sure the thickness of the material is consistent with what your material is, and hit OK. That'll rotate your job setup. Now, select your vectors. I hit the 9 or the 0 key to rotate them 90 degrees, and then center them within your workspace. That's sort of the guts of it all, the old way of doing something. With the vectors rotated and the job setup rotated, I go back over to my toolpath and simply hit recalculate. All toolpaths have been successfully recalculated. And there it is. Design in one direction, cut in another. But there's a couple other ways to do it. So, option two. We're going to use the same file, the same job setup as before. It's designed in the landscape. My text is on its own layer. And you'll see it's still a single sided. The width and height are the same. I need to change the thickness to make sure it's what my material is. And hit OK. Here's the trick with this option number two. In version 11 of the software, the option of having sheets was introduced. A sheet is a new job within a job. I can have multiple sheets with multiple vectors or shapes or anything on them. And of course, different sizes. So my sheet number two will have my numbers, the width and height, inverted. In a sense, the width is now shorter and the height is longer. Almost like the first option of rotation. I hit OK and you'll see we have two sheets. Clicking on sheet one, I select my vectors. Right click on those vectors and choose the option of copy to sheet number two.
going back to the Sheets tab, I double click on sheet number two to make it active. You'll see the name is now bold. I select my vectors that were copied to sheet number two and again rotate them. Zero or nine to rotate and then use the alignment tools to center it. I create a toolpath using the same 60 degree quarter inch V bit and calculate. Now I will say there is a way to copy toolpaths from one sheet to another, but that's for another video. Preview the toolpaths, and there we are two jobs, one horizontal and one vertical. Now I'd like to show you something slightly different. Option 3. We're back in our original file. Make the text layer visible. We check our measurements, single sided, width, and height, those odd numbers again. and I hit OK. And now for the magic. With everything laid out as we want it to be in the horizontal, we go back into our job setup and choose rotary. I know, sounds weird, but watch what happens. It's, I have mine set along the y-axis. If I choose to now have it along the x-axis and have the flip design checked, you'll see that everything rotates, job setup and vectors at one time. If the flip design is not, the vectors are not selected. Once that's been rotated by flipping the design, I simply go back to the top with the job setup window still open and choose single-sided. Everything stays rotated. With that accomplished, I simply go to the toolpath window and hit the recalculate button. No need to create anything else because it was done originally before. Preview the section, and there we have it. Originally designed to be horizontal, choosing to have it as a rotary, and then clicking back on the single sided rotates everything around. Well, I hope you liked this little video. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And who knows, I may show up at another time with some more information. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.